<laughs> Bam. Something classy. Yep, this is the thing. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh yeah. Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got into her head that by being born on the 25th, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa, and that made her start giving out gifts like crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. She got over it, but the gift giving stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation. Well, the story says that the Redman family destroyed Santa's spirit, and that Mega Santa was reborn as the man manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought the old Santa was. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in the new body. That girl was delusional as a kid. Huh. Speaking of things you did when you were young, Stella mentioned she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something? Oh. That? <laughs> oh. It's sweet that she's worried. But I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I face the same, situa same situation, I'm more mature. I'm not a teen anymore. <laughs> Expected as much? Told her as much. Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. Uh, this bu bubbly is a flavor. Alright, beer is 200. Frothy water is less than that. Uh, another cobalt velvet. <laughs> Fringe weaver. Alright. Do this again. Make these drinks all day. Here. Bubbly bubbly sing song. Hey Jill, this might seem a bit random, but do you remember the first time I came in here? Yeah, you left your you had your helmet on? Yeah, you're the second white knight I served. Er, I've served, I remember. Why? Precisely because of that. I've meaning to ask you about that story. How was your experience with a white knight? If I had to put it simply, the total opposite of you. Oh, she came in here as part of her work, looking for information on some case. I went through the motions, offering her a drink and all, but she came only for her job. First, I thought she was just another private eye, but she showed me her badge. What kind of cause or case was it? I wouldn't know. She never told me, but she asked if I saw some people. She got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea who she was talking about. Oh no. I suggested she ask the vending machines outside, and they told her the suspect climb out of, the suspect climbed on them. She got her info and left. Pretty, pr pretty professional, if a bit intimidating. She seemed personally invested in the case, though. The way she lost her cool was suspicious. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. It makes me kind of jealous. Nah, I'm not good at that. I'm just. It's just a coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed it. I'm not good at reading people. Even if the cue was thrown in my face, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate with another skill. Like being able to beat a grown man near to near death three times. Any particular reason you asked me about that event? Not really. I just found the fact that I was the only other white knight you've served weird. I mean, really, just two? Oh, my microphone fell again. Man. Weird, I know. I spent most of my life with almost no inter interactions with white knights until I met you. Means you've had a nice life then. That sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. I'll go take my break, Gil. Sure. Man, they are having fun out there. Once I'm done recording here, I'll probably go glance at the window. Or just walk outside. Alright, we're gonna save over the, uh, day 14 break.
kind of scared to save over day 12 at this point. Because if I need to go redo something to, like, pick up more money, I'm going to. I wonder if I left food out for four. Oh. Okay, I'm here. Uh, um, Dorothy? Seems kind of bummed out. Oh, there's her again. Did she just pop up on, like, the no signal thing? Alright. Why do I keep... I keep cycling through. You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Ah, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. U usual. Okay, so I'm gonna give her a piano woman since that's her favorite thing, and she seems depressed again. Five, one, two. Oh, I, I almost made it wrong. Not ice it. There we go. Here. This is nice. N nice. Nice. Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, how do you know what's real? H how so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is the an actual thing? How can tell? How can you tell if what you see around you? Oh, this is real topical after the whole uh, Anna thing, huh? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me that I'm not just a simulation of a computer? And those potterings brought you to the bar. I think those potterings would actually bring a lot of people to a bar. What? Oh, I'm in a bar. Am I? Dorothy. So you're having a, a solophistic crisis of sorts. Soloph- what? So Solophism, the theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See, that's another thing right there. That word. Solophism. What does it even mean? Where did it come from? Well, solace means alone, and... Ipis means self. Or ips. Or however you say it. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this? It doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. True enough, but... We found a way to get there. I've been repeating words for a long time and they've stopped making sense. Why? Calm down, this is semantic sanitation. satiation. Stop making up words. It's not making up words. And then there's this counter. How can I be sure the counter is really here? It is. Please stop taffing it. Hold on, just making sure. Oh, we're just gonna make another piano woman. And you know what? I'm okay with that because piano women's are uh, pretty, or they are, what am I saying? They're more than the other drinks I was serving. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at your face. Sorry. So let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this ex ex I can say the word existential, I promise. Since earlier today, I think. I was remembering the good times I had with my, my guardian. But I don't know, it was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts just started piling up in my mind. 
What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. No more. What is fun? Life, hope, dreams. Where did they come from? And where did they go? These things, these things I will destroy. Are these feelings real? Is all of that, am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking I have a body, thinking it has a body? What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? Eh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some comp humor <laughs> that thinks it's human. I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis. That uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. I hope it was just scratching. But the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch and the fear got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. Oh. At one point, I cried with the book and realized I was crying over fake things, a story and its characters. Yep. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that, too? Yeah. Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. It's as real as you make it, at least. That's what I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Was this around the time- okay, so, so she mentioned the panic attack. Was this around the time, the same time of crisis that she described to Alma? <laughs> I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks, okay then. She threw it in her face. <laughs> Phew. Why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made? And it burns and itches a bit. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dana. Oh, I've been here before. Oh, Mr. Mario. Welcome back. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get it for her. Right, sign here, please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it if it's something perishable. Maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a wiener. Oh, great. Here we go with... Okay. How do they go from talking about this existential crisis to this... The mother of all tension breakers. Hey, honey. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what will your boss do with such a thing? I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll t chop it. Oh god, here we go. Stop. Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say? Oh god. Oh, do ho ho ho. Pfft. Seriously, Jill? She's the one making jokes. <laughs> And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway. We all know if we dare cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. You might have another delivery, you know. This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. I'll have a sunshine cloud. And you? I'm fine. Sunshine cloud, all right. 150, garbage. Well, getting him drunk will either entice him to drink more or he'll bounce. I don't know which one to go with. But, I'm gonna try. Yeah, or I don't know which one has the probable chance of success here. But I'm gonna try with the drunk option. Uh -huh. Here. Ah, I clicked my start button again. Thanks. Hey, um, 
Call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Oh god. Yeah, Dorothy. Why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way? Lilum? I'm a man's man. I like men. Uh, I've, I don't... I don't think I've heard it described that way before. <laughs> That's funny, though. I, not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was just thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see honey here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. That made me happy, and I don't know. It fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm when I'm entered. When I. I'm. Blah, blah, blah. I'm more calm than when I entered. Glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. <laughs> Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I. I get it, I get it. Don't worry. You like guys. It's clear. <laughs> yes. Speaking of you, you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you been to the Motor District? I spend all of my free time in the Motor District, actually. Why? Is it true what they say about all the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? I'm just a bartender. As far as I remember, no. <laughs> oh, what an answer. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but it's also, but there's also a semi-legal league going on there. Semi-legal? What? So they're only like, what? So they're only committing misdemeanors rather than like class five homicide. Or first degree murder is what I should have said. Class five homicide. I don't think that's a real thing. <laughs> the authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Have you heard about the biker called Christine Love? Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? He seems happy about that. Is her gang as dangerous as she says, as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but the truth is nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beat into a pulp if they turned out to be what they seem. Dude, that is the ultimate, like, reputation coastage right there. Never done anything, but somehow you got, like... That's interesting. So her gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Oh. Do you want anything else? I'll have a piano, man. Blah, da, da, piano, man. <clears throat> Two Adele Hyde. Three Bronson. Five Powder Delta. Five Flanergide. Three Carmotrine. And Iced. Here you go. Yeah, this is nice. Hey, you two an item. Didn't you ask this the last time? <laughs> what are you trying to say with that laughter, Gil? No, we're not. What's wrong with you? Eh? You work with the... Oh, God. You work with this hunk of man and you don't feel the least bit tempted. How can you be so calm with his smell so close to you? This is weird. <laughs> Ever heard the expression, his past is weight I don't want to carry? Because his past is weight I don't want to carry. Even if he has a past at all, I'm having my doubts lately. Are you implying he's not good game? Oh, don't misunderstand. Gil is good game. Uh, he's not bad looking, he's a gentleman, always attentive. But he's also distant and will take many steps back when he feels like he's getting close to somebody. You don't have to marry him, just push- oh god, really? Eh, not interested. You annoy me, bartender. You don't seem to- you don't know- you don't see what you have right in front of you. I'm out. Please come again. That was weird. <laughs> ah, Gil. 
She said that the last time he was there. Did anything happen? I discovered I have a sense of humor of an eight-year-old girl. Did anything new happen? <laughs> hey. They brought you a package. Ah, yes, my curated wiener. Curated wiener. It's a gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some? God dang it, Jill. That's a new one. Have some of my have some pocket money. I'm out of excuses. Flawless service bonus. Oh, six thousand. You've been chuckling since yesterday. Pfft, wiener. Oh god, Jill, you silly goose. All right, dangerous opinions. The bar called Valhalla. It's on the thing. So I'm full of myself. You are. Is it any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Work. Normies are taking over, huh? Her. Everyone is a neat, just like me. Place is cool, but the bartender can be a jerk. How so? Never been there. I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I take. I can take it if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. Have you already had a conversation with her? Did she reject your advances? Nah, I just heard from the distance. So is that a no? Kind of. I mean, if you're going there just to chat. I just want a place to chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there anywhere... Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. I think I'll go next week. It sounds good enough for me. Oh, that's interesting. So, someone from the message board will be there. Uh, Woman Marries Anime Pillow? First space colony to develop? Alice Rabbit is in space, too. Amazing. Even though space imagined is... We have, even though space was imagined as the promised land, a place where humanity would start over, it looks like we're about to repeat the mistakes of the past. The first space colony, Sh Shin Outer Paradise, is currently in talks to develop its own privately owned army, following alleged threats from a notorious terrorist group. <clears throat> We're discussing it right now, but the law is most likely approved. We'll have an army, and we'll defend our motherland from the terrorist threats. Alice Rabbit chimed in during the private stream. The terrorist group does not exist. Don't let the Outer Paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so they can have more control over the population. Interesting. Woman who marries anime pillow. Nobody is actually surprised. Wanna marry me? Can't marry your own son. <laughs> I remember a time when wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines, but even though I'm reporting on it, I can't help but think how mundane it's become. Oh boy. I mean, we live in a world where you can just plug, in, plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces thanks to new technologies. The traditional views on human relationships have changed so much that marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now. If the pillow had some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different, but it's just a plain, generic anime pillow. Get with the times, Grandma. Yeek, the final remaster beats the video game charts. It's the third final this year. <laughs> The newest remaster of 2016's Yeek, a postmodern RPG. The newest remaster of 20. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. I got tripped up because I remembered the game was released in 2016, but then. Uh, but for a split second, I forgot that this game takes, you know, place a million years in the future. Alright. Other launch titles this week are clear. Hats. Oh. The, uh, the Vocaloid thing, right? Hatsune Miku. Is that how you pronounce it? And Sting's Face Remastered. What is Sting's Face? 
Water Pro Wrestling G. Dang it, Ron Paul. Alrighty. Alright, we're gonna save it again here. Uh, we'll just save over... Save over the day 15 break. Alright. So that was interesting. Still don't know if I'll come up with enough money to make the rent, unfortunately. I hope I do, because I don't want Jill to get evicted. I will play the game again if I have to. Anyway, we made some decent progress, and there's another party coming up, so that's cool. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.